Okay, so here I'm wearing very minimal makeup. It's from my no makeup makeup look. If you want to check out that video, here's the link right here. Click on this if you want to check it out. And we're going to convert it into a night look. So I'm going to take this dark brown color and apply it on the outer part of my eye. But since we're working with dark colors, I'm going to give you a little tip. It's tip time. <laughs> When working with glitters, dark or loose shadows, especially if you chose to do your foundation first, take a loose translucent powder with a fluffy brush, apply a generous amount of powder under your eyes. That way, if there's any fallout, the powder will catch it and when you're done, just brush it off and your face makeup won't be ruined. Okay, so taking that dark brown color with a pencil brush, I'm going to apply it on the outer part of my eye, almost like if it was an eyeliner, and I'm going to start creating an outer V and bringing it in just above the natural crease. Now taking a blending brush, I'm going to start blending that color. And since this is a night look, I'm going to take more of that dark brown and just make it darker. Once you're done with that, I'm going to take the color buck and just blend out any harsh lines. And to make this look even more dramatic, I'm going to take the color Creep and apply it on the outer part of my eye, just like I did that dark brown color, then just blend it out. Now taking the color Sidecar, I'm going to apply that on the lid, just uh, concentrating it on the middle, just like this. And I'm going to take that same color and apply it on the lower lash line, all along the lash line. And on the outer third, I'm going to apply some of that uh, color creep. Okay, so now do you see all that fallout? Well, we're going to brush it off. And there you go, our makeup is not ruined, yay! Now taking NYX Light On Pencil in the color Jet Black, I'm going to apply it on the lower and top waterline. And to line the top, I'm going to use Inglot's gel liner in the color number 77, which is a black, just like this. I love this eyeliner, one of my favorites. Along with this bent liner brush from Inglot 2, I just love it. It makes it that much easier to apply a liner. Love it. And there you go, that's the finished eyeliner. Now just apply mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Next up is lashes. You're gonna wanna put some glue on there and don't forget to let it uh, get tacky first. So just put the glue on and wait a couple of seconds before you try to apply it on because a lot of people try to apply it right away and that's when they fail. So yeah, just make sure it's tacky, then put them on starting in the middle and just tucking in the corners and it's way easier if you use some tweezers like this and of course be super careful with this Thank you. 
there you go now we're just going to wait for that glue to dry before we blend our lashes with the fake lashes while we're waiting let's move on to the cheeks using a contouring brush i'm going to take the dan mari palette in the color casino just apply that color in the hollows of your cheeks like this So we won't have any harsh lines, we're going to blend everything together with a kabuki brush just like this. Now for blush, I'm going to use the color Desire and just apply that on the cheeks with a uh, blush brush. Blush brush. How pretty is this color? I just love this freaking palette. Anyway, now since uh, we're done with that, we're going to blend our lashes with the fake lashes um, using mascara. Believe me, it makes it way better. And that's it. That's the final look from day to night. I hope you liked it. And remember, all the products used are going to be listed in the bottom bar. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe.